Hi guys, this is Leslie. You cannot imagine how many times I have tried to do this video and I keep on yawning in like twice in a three minute period. I don't know why and if I do it, I'm just gonna maybe just barrel through. So I apologize in advance. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about some of the silver linings that we possibly can try to find in this current crazy virus situation. I'll just call it the virus situation that we have going on now because there really is no way that even two weeks ago from today I could have possibly anticipated that my kids would not be in college and that my other kids would not be in school and that my son would be working at home and that I would be working at home. It's really unprecedented, obviously. Um, the one thing I do want to talk about is the silver lining for so many people. I was shocked to hear that three out of every five Americans work um, hourly. And so th outside in Philadelphia, I know that as of this morning, today is March 24th, the um, Philadelphia has been shut down to any, any uh, no essential, non-essential businesses. And which is probably 85% of the businesses in Philadelphia, again, somewhere between eight to 10 weeks, who knows, six, four to, if, if it's four to six weeks, who knows. Um, it's a catastrophic loss. However, I do want to say one little small silver lining is that there is unemployment. And my st very strong suggestion is that if you do qualify for unemployment, that you do this as quickly as possible. There is something called a waiting week. And my understanding is that the quicker you do that, the, um, the quicker you, you will start to see the money coming in, in terms of checks or in your, your bank account. I am, um, I do work, uh, I do not typically work at home, but I have been able to work at home over the last week and a half. And um, for me, one of the silver linings has been that I have not had my commuting costs, which unfortunately is bad for our septic train system because they're gonna lose billions of dollars of people not commuting into the city to work. Um, I personally have not had to pay commuting costs. I have not used my, um, had to wait, I shouldn't say waste, but I have not had the commuting time, which is about an hour and 45 minutes each day. And um, lastly, and I'm just looking, oh, I also am not paying city wage tax. I work, I've been working outside the city. Philadelphia has a city wage tax, which if you work in the city, work and live in the city, you pay, I think it's 3.88. If you just work in the city, it's like 3.42 or 3.44 thereabouts. If you do not work or live in the city, such as I am doing right now, I don't, I'm not paying city wage tax. So that's a little bit of a boost right there. I just wanted to say that, um, you know, these are small things, obviously. I think that one of the, um, you know, we're just trying to find silver linings. It's, it's, Maybe not the best situation in the world for any of us. Um, obviously, the, our first thoughts go to those of us who, uh, any of anyone who is ill. Um, but and this is going to be a this is a big deal. I mean, this is no doubt about it. This is a big deal. But I'm just suggesting that those who are suffering financially for right now, we're just talking about not the medical situation, but the financial situation, that there does seem to be the possibility of some silver linings for people um, financially. So this is Leslie, I wanted to, I didn't yawn this, so thought that was good. I wanted to um, thank you for watching my video today. If you like it, please subscribe and um, hit the button down there. Um, think about uh, subscribing and liking it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And for now, everyone remember to wash your hands a lot and keep six feet apart. Thanks a lot, bye.